Hey guys, okay, so very, very fast. Um, here is a different example of a season's diagram, and let's see how you guys do. So as a reminder, a few things that you need to remember. The first is with a season's diagram, you must always, always first locate the locations of summer and winter for whichever hemisphere you guys are looking for. So summer and winter will always, always, on a diagram, at least on a simple diagram, be located on the sides. So summer and winter, for whichever hemisphere, will have to be on the sides, which means that you are only able to locate the locations for fall and spring after you figure out where winter and summer are and you follow the arrows. So you have to get summer and winter first and then follow the arrows. So let's see how you guys do. Take a moment, you might pause the video, see if you can figure out which, area, which um, hemispheres have which seasons, and then we'll continue in just a moment. So go ahead and pause now. Okay, so now that you've paused the video um, and you've kind of checked yourself, let's see how you did. So we always want to do the sides first. I'm going to pick a side, any side. I like this side first. So let's do the northern hemisphere. That's where we live. In this location, if we drew an arrow directly from the sun to show most direct sunlight, to planet Earth, it would look something like this. So it looks like the most direct sunlight happens to fall on the northern hemisphere. The northern hemisphere, which is right up here, is tilted in the same direction, or excuse me, is tilted toward the sun in this, in this image. So that would put us in summer. This would be the summer solstice. This happens on about June 20th, June 21st. At the same time, the southern hemisphere, which I'm going to shade in pink down here, is now tilted away from the sun. They get the least amount of direct sunlight, so that would put them in winter. I'm going to go around and just label the northern hemisphere. I'm going to forget these ones on the top and bottom. Let me go ahead and do summer and winter first. So up here in the northern hemisphere, in this section of the diagram, if we draw an arrow directly from the sun, to the earth, we end up with the light, the most direct sunlight pointing at the southern hemisphere, which means that the southern hemisphere and the side would actually be in summer. They have the hottest days, and the northern hemisphere would be in winter. So, how are you guys doing so far? We're just going to follow our arrows. So, it looks like our arrows are going this direction this time. So, let's just look at the northern hemisphere first. I'm going to shade in the top part again. Looks like we just experienced winter in the northern hemisphere. After winter, things start to warm up again. So this location in the diagram would be spring. The southern hemisphere is exactly opposite. So this location would be experiencing fall. Exactly opposite as we go around in the northern hemisphere. After spring, we experience summer. It gets really hot. After summer, things start to cool down a little bit. Following the arrows, it looks like we would be in fall in the northern hemisphere. And in the southern hemisphere, we'd be experiencing the opposite, so they would be experiencing spring. So there's another season's diagram. Let me know if you need any more help. Good luck, guys.